In the cold darkness beyond our solar system, a lone traveler continues its journey. Voyager 2, launched nearly half a century ago, this probe has sent back whispers from the edge of our sun's influence. But today, August 3rd, 2025, it has sent something more, a message that will echo through science and into every heart that's ever wondered. Are we alone? This is not fiction. This is discovery. A faint signal, traveling over 22 hours across 14 billion miles has reached us. The revelation it carries will redefine our place in the universe. It challenges the laws of physics and suggests the void between stars may not be so empty after all. This is a turning point for humanity, a moment that will be remembered for centuries. Voyager 2's greatest discovery was not planned. It was a whisper from the void, a lucky accident. How did a 1970s machine with less power than a smartphone just change the world through patience, dedication and relentless curiosity? The most profound truths are often hidden in the quietest corners of the universe. Join me as we unravel the tale of a lonely probe, a mysterious signal and a discovery that alters everything. The universe has spoken and we are finally listening. Our story begins on August 20th, 1977, when Voyager 2 launched from Cape Canaveral. Its mission, a grand tour of the outer solar system, made possible by a rare planetary alignment. Using gravity assists, Voyager 2 visited Jupiter, revealing violent storms and volcanic moons. It flew by Saturn, capturing intricate portraits of its rings and studying the mysterious moon Titan. In 1986, it became the only spacecraft to visit Uranus, uncovering a tilted world with strange moons. By 1989, it reached Neptune, discovering the great dark spot and the fastest winds in the solar system. After Neptune, Voyager 2's primary mission ended, but it continued, escaping the solar system. In 2018, it crossed into interstellar space, becoming only the second human-made object to do so. Its new mission study the galactic medium, sending back steady data from the darkness until now. For years, Voyager 2 quietly measured the cosmic rays and plasma of interstellar space. The data was routine until July 28, 2025. An alert at the Deep Space Network flagged an anomaly, a sudden sharp spike in plasma density. At first, scientists suspected a malfunction, but the probe was healthy. The data was real. The anomaly persisted, with plasma density fluctuating in a structured rhythmic pattern. This wasn't random noise, it was a physical phenomenon that shouldn't exist in interstellar space. The team at JPL was baffled. Interstellar space was supposed to be placid, not structured. Finding a dense, organized cloud out there was like finding a river in the Sahara. The news was kept secret as scientists worked to understand the impossible. Was it a natural structure or something else entirely? For a small group of scientists, the universe had just become far more mysterious. The world remained oblivious, but the greatest cosmic puzzle in decades had just begun. The silence of space had been broken, and the implications were staggering. The mystery deepened with the data specifics. Voyager 2 detected a region 30 million miles wide, packed with helium ions, over 10,000 times denser than the surrounding space. Helium is common, but not in such concentrated isolated clouds. Stranger still, the helium was organized into concentric shells, each precisely spaced. Dr. Elena Petrova noticed the mathematical regularity. The shells followed a harmonic sequence, almost as if engineered. The helium was incredibly cold, yet vibrating at a unified frequency, order and complexity unknown in nature. The team named it the Iris Thorn Anomaly, or ATA-1. Voyager 2 mapped 12 shells, each thinner and more defined toward the center. As it passed through the innermost shell, the probe detected a brief, powerful burst of neutrinos, a fleeting whisper from the heart of the anomaly, a final clue before Voyager 2 returned to empty space. The data was clean, unambiguous and utterly baffling. The anomaly defied every expectation, and it demanded an explanation. The impossible data landed on Dr. Aris Thorne's desk at Caltech. For 72 hours, Thorne's team ran simulations and checked every theory. Could it be a new star, a lensing effect or a new state of matter? Every natural explanation failed. The structure's order was too perfect. The energy required immense. On August 2, 2025, Thorne presented his conclusion to NASA. The anomaly was not natural. The only model that fit was artificial construction. The room fell silent. The implications were staggering. Thorne explained, the shells acted as insulation, the resonance a byproduct of an energy system. The neutrino burst? 
likely a discharge from a central power source triggered by Voyager's passage. He was describing a machine. We have exhausted all other possibilities. When you eliminate the impossible, whatever remains, however improbable, must be the truth. Voyager 2 had not found a new cosmic phenomenon. It had found an artifact. The word sent shockwaves through science. It implied a maker, intelligence. Humanity had crossed a threshold once reserved for fiction. The Aris Thorn anomaly is a fundamental shift in our story. For the first time, we have empirical proof of another intelligence in our galaxy. The universe is not a barren wasteland, but a place where civilizations can leave their mark. The technology behind ATA-1 is beyond our comprehension, manipulating matter and energy on a colossal scale. It hints at new physics, new energy sources and new forms of propulsion. The artifact is a locked treasure chest of science. Culturally, the knowledge that we are not alone will reshape our philosophies and sense of self. This could be a unifying moment for humanity, making our division seem smaller. The discovery is a mirror, forcing us to reconsider our place in the cosmos. Politically, it will spark a new collaborative space race. The United Nations has called for a global response. The artifact is a human discovery, and our response must be united. The world is still processing the news. From Tokyo to the Andes, humanity has paused, united in awe and contemplation. Social media is ablaze with a single topic. The discovery has transcended politics and borders. For the first time in ages, the world is focused on what unites us. World leaders call it a moment of humility and possibility. Scientific institutions are flooded with inquiries. Planetariums report record attendance. Dr. Michio Kaku remarked, We have graduated from a civilization that talks about aliens to one that has found their address. The search for extraterrestrial intelligence is now the most important archaeological dig in history. There is fear and uncertainty, but the overwhelming reaction is inspiration. The discovery has sparked a global conversation about our future and our capacity for wonder. It's given us a reason to look up and dream bigger. The world feels larger, more mysterious, and full of promise. We are all in this together, standing on the shore of a new cosmic ocean. The discovery of the Aris Thorn anomaly is just the beginning. NASA and other agencies are racing to gather more data. Voyager 1's archives are being scoured for similar anomalies. Every major radio telescope is now listening for whispers from the artifacts region. The long-term goal, we must go back. A mission to ATA-1 is a monumental challenge, far beyond current technology. The discovery has ignited research into new propulsion fusion rockets, solar sails, even warp drives. The artifact is a destination that will drive innovation for generations. The Interstellar Probe Initiative proposes a global effort to design a new probe, the Thorn Explorer, by 2050. Meanwhile, telescopes like James Webb can search for similar megastructures around other stars. We now know what to look for. Signatures of advanced engineering. The age of passive listening is over. The age of active searching has begun. Humanity's next great journey is underway. Today, we stand at a crossroads. The universe is richer and more mysterious than we ever imagined. Voyager 2's discovery is a gift of perspective, reminding us we are just one stage in a vast cosmic arena. We are not alone, we are part of a larger tapestry. This knowledge calls us to be wiser, to act as a unified species. The artifact is a symbol of hope, a testament to what's possible when intelligence chooses creation over destruction. This is a call to action, stay curious, support science, and inspire the next generation. Our future lies in looking up at the stars. The spirit of exploration that launched Voyager must guide us forward. Our journey is far from over, it has just begun. Voyager 2 continues its voyage, carrying the golden record, a message in a bottle from Earth. We don't know if the builders are still out there, but we now know such things are possible. The frontier is endless, and humanity is ready to take its next step into the living cosmos.